What's up YouTube? Continuing the saga, the adventure, the story of how I create stories. Well, actually that's not really how I create stories. I have a tool that I use um, that is very helpful for me in fleshing out story ideas. And I created a thing called the Writer's Workbook. And it's part of my XP Life series and it's one of those things that I felt there was a need for it so I created it because sometimes I have these crazy ideas I'm gonna have a dream I'm gonna have some other stuff and I want to write it down I want a historical reference to it so that each one of these right here becomes kind of like a work of art it's his own artistic piece and so here are some of the things and then I'll show you how I use mine um, that are in the work uh, writer's workbook so the very first page is all about the basics of what is the story about the name of the story when did you begin writing it what genre is it what type is it what's your target word count what's the target date that you want to get this done who's the author the author's email and then you're answering some basic questions. Who, what, when, where, why, wow, and other. Then you flip the page. And now you're starting to kind of write together, write out your, your character list. It's like, who's in it? What's their role? And then some basic notes, right? These are just things that are important. If you ever wrote a story and you're like, God, what did I name that character? What was the thing? This is a perfect reference. It's like right there for you. So we got the main character worksheet. Covers the name, the alias, the height, the weight, the hair, the eye, sex, body, age, date of birth, age notes, occupation, hometown, country, birthplace, country, race, details, characters, why. Now it's always important for me. I always like to figure out why my characters are doing what it is that they're doing. It's really important for me to make sure that my characters actually have some layers to them. I don't want these two dimensional characters that are cookie cutter that everybody goes, ah, whatever, right? What's his role in the story? And some additional information. And then I leave a lot of space for you to add in pictures and things of that nature. Then we go to the next section, which is a sub character. And there's basically one, two, three, four, five worksheets for the sub character right and each one of those is like name alias height weight hair eyes sex build age date of birth age note occupation hometown country birthplace country race details characters why characters role and then additional information okay after that then we get into outline notes and this is kind of like this is where you set up some of the key outline notes for your story right so we have summary characters that are there uh, settings and scenes plot notes additional notes and there's you know quite a few pages of that and then you get into your research notes now research notes are super important because those are things that you're fleshing out could be organizations could be uh, disease information could be plot devices that you're coming up with whatever but those are areas where you can write your notes as you're doing your uh, story planning right and there's quite a bit for that and then the final section is a writing log where you'll keep track of the date how many words you did how'd you feel while you were writing it were you in a you know good mood man mood struggled bad and there's some notes about it like what what was the problem with writing you know did you set aside some time in the morning and try any constant interruptions did you do it at night and you just were drained you know you're gonna write those notes down and then I leave a couple of blank pages in the back for you to do some drawings and some other notes and things like that so now what I'm gonna do is actually show you I'm gonna give you a sneak peek this is actually spoiler kind of filled and what I'll try to do is not go too in detail because I don't want to ruin the story or anything but this one I wrote with a sharpie here this is a happy core book one okay and then I have some branding already done 
and this started May 16, 2019. And then I started to write notes, right? I have some stuff up here, just personal notes for myself, name of the story, all that other good information, who, right? What's going on, where, when, where, why, and then wow, and then other, okay? This is my character list. You can see there was phases where I was writing, then I went and had other sessions, and then I was writing other sessions as I was doing some, some thoughts and everything. And this is my main character stuff. So I had some pictures I did, right? Some quotes from the character, example of the blade. Then we have sub characters, right? More sub characters. This is like a happy core person. This is Kerberos Corporation International. Again, Kerberos Happy, right? So there's information on that, information on the blade. I even sketched it out, made some notes on Ragnarok. And this character right here. There's another one you noticed I didn't put a logo on her, so she's some another character. She's not necessarily part of Kerberos or Happy, but she is an important character. And then I started working out outline, another outline, some more outline, my Rise of Kaijus. Then these are my notes. Now, I even wrote this in code in case somebody was to find this, I didn't want people to be able to read what certain parts were. So I actually wrote some of this in code. And these are some of my research notes. Research notes, talking about yukai beads, more notes, talking about Kerberos, actually created a logo for it. And then that's it. I haven't actually started doing any of the uh, any of the writing logs because I haven't actually sat down to do really hardcore writing with this project yet. And then there is uh, a sticker that I had made for this. So you can see how this little lightweight writer's workbook is invaluable as a reference tool as I'm formulating my thoughts kind of visualizing where it's going to go and then when I actually start to track my progress I'll know how many sessions it took how long it took etc and that as a writer helps me to understand my craft a little bit better how long it takes me to do certain things and go from there so this is available you can get this up on Amazon again it's called the writer's workbook and um, there is one overview page, one character list page, one main character sheet, five character she sub character sheets, five story outline notes, 10 story research notes, 10 writing log sheets. So that's what I use. And I've got probably about seven or eight of these laying around for big stories that I'm working on. And Happy Core just happens to be one of them. So I hope you enjoyed getting kind of a sneak peek in how I do certain things. And that covers the writer's workbook. All right, guys, that's it for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe. Tell your friends for a while time. Until next time, motherfuckers, please be good to yourself, good to each other. Gladly would like to the fullest, try to bust the wheels, fall off, and all the jazz. And I will see you motherfuckers next time.